just really sucks, so I just resort to your single target action. you to have something up your sleeve. Unfortunately, it's all for naught. Enjoy your remaining moments of happiness. The Oncash tribe shall be next. Okay, that was a really cool sequence. Nasty bastard got away again. Next time, I'll wring her neck myself. Sounds legit. The Earth Totem once again protected us. But this is not a permanent solution. <clears throat> As you heard just now, Aslo's next target is the Anchor Stripe. Whether it was compelling Satunga to betray his people, destroying the Earth Totems or attacking the Anchor Stripe, her goal was and still is to harvest vast numbers of living souls to ultimately uh, resurrect that monarch of hers. Aslo will definitely mobilize all her forces to attack the Anchor Stripe. I have to go back to and prepare Talirona. My comrade in arms, are you coming with me? Yeah, sure, bro. That's not even, not even a question, man. Uh, go to Silverlit to do the quest? Uh, yeah. I'll do that. this um, <clears throat> okay 10 points and 10,000 silver that's nice and my battle pass ranked up oh a six slot back perfect oh, where's my bag here it is Can I... Um... Mm. Is there any kind of uh, way to open all bags at once? Keybind? Action bar, no, that's not just my tar, uh, my combat stuff. Backpack menu is B, attribute menu. Oh, I can scroll down. Ooh, that's cool. Now let's head over to. The heating tower. <clears throat> All day and night. Didn't the treatment end yet? Jaya, she. It's 
wrong with her? Catherine, what, what's wrong with Jaya? Damn, they threatened a princess. Do they assume that I couldn't find any other hands to save Jaya with besides this council of moon chasers? What's wrong? <clears throat> I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Okay. Forget it. I'll tell you both. The good news is that Jaya is safe for now. The bad news is that the dark power in her body... The Council of the Moonchasers priests tried all kinds of things but failed to dispel it. They think Jaya will become a puppet of the darkness sooner or later and want to keep her under control. Calm down. I refused their root request. Jaya is the hero who saved Silverlit. I would never allow them to repay kindness with enmity. But we also have to make another plan to find a cure for Jaya. Telirona, Lorne, do you have any ideas? Not yet. I know someone who can cure Jaya. The Elf Queen, Eleanor. The only thing is, she lives in the Misty Forest. The forest. Did elves come to Tarzan from other worlds for real? He went to the Misty Forest himself and wouldn't have liked me. I will take you to him to clear your doubts. The Misty Forest? Let's check there ourselves. The story begins with Filu. It's the birthplace of High Elves, the most stunning star in the universe. When Moira, the god of destiny, projected her first will onto this planet, the elves became the most devout children of God. They listened to the teachings and celebrated the miracles. The elves lived happily. They didn't know that Asheroth, the god of disaster, was already behind them. Like the fate of billions of planets, Vilu turned to dust. Moira. The God of Destiny arrived so late that she could only take the High Elves away. Across many planets, the High Elves came to Taurus Land. They were at a loss, faced with a barren new world. Moira, the God of Destiny, performed yet another miracle. He sowed the seeds in the misty forest and guided the elves to flourish there. The seeds grew into the Tree of Luan, providing a place of shelter. The High Elves obeyed their god and never ventured out of the forest. Some say it's a sanctuary. Some say it's a prison. No one cares what the truth is. Uh, the elves in the trees, that's a, a, a trope as, 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 as old as I can remember. Tolkien already had the two uh, big trees in the early days of the elves. Elves? Elves? How's it called? I don't know. <laughs> Backpack has... I do have some nice stuff, okay. Still have my vigor maxed out, okay. I think I'll go craft off screen a bit. Or at, uh, not craft, I mean craft as well, but um, do some gathering. Ankash Canyon Reputation Shop. What does the tier 3 <clears throat> reputation shop offer? Canyon Walker used to. Activate Landmaster Riding Seal, already have this. 
do have this arm. Oh, don't I? What? That's weird. I mean, 9,000 is not too much, so... It's level 1, that's... Let's get some nice emblems. I cannot use them right now, but I will uh, need emblems later, later on. Some green and... Whatever, I don't know. Now I'm level 28 and I can level them up to the max at once. Yes, I can. That's good to know and I do have a skill point as well. Two even. <clears throat> Let's see, the next one is level 28, but I am level 28. Only 6% damage increase. What? While Judgment Justice is active, the damage Justice Thumb deals is increased by the character's Omni percentage times 40%. Enhanced with Omni, Justice Thumb has a 40% chance to cast the next Discipline Storm without consuming power of glory but with decreased damage. Okay, just let let's talk to Sullivan. Ah, it's you. You are the scholar we met at the library. What? What is your name again? Sullivan from Orsenheim. Yes, Mr. Sullivan. I heard you've been to the Misty Forest. Could you? Wait, Catherine. This gentleman seems to know us well, but we don't know anything about him yet. Mr. Sullivan seems to have a close relationship with the elves. Yeah, history is mandatory for the royal family, but I've never heard of this history of the high elves. Mr. Sullivan, how do you know that? Ah, it's no secret in the Misty Forest. To be precise, I had traversed the Misty Forest alone. I've heard your stories. And I hate to see heroic tales end in tragedy. Only the Elf Queen can heal Jaya. With your permission, I can act as a guide and help you enter the Misty Forest. You can trust me. Excellent! Jaya is saved! Mr. Sullivan, please take us to the Misty Forest. Yes, I'll be with you guys this time. Jaya got hurt when defending Silver Lit. I need to be sure that she will be all right. Well, I've made up my mind. No one can stop me. Uh, no need to rush. Prepare yourselves before you go. As the High Elves used to say, preparedness is the key to success. Let's go see how Jaya is doing. As for Catherine, go say goodbye to your brother, the king. Don't sneak out of the city with us. Okay. Wasn't there? Yeah, black gun. Go find black gun and serve it. I do need to learn fishing, definitely. <laughs> Black Gun is a highly skilled fisherman with, uh, who once participated in dangerous sea fishing regardless of the objection from his family and emerged as champion. I heard the president of the fishing association found a very rare fish. Could you ask about it for me? Fishy Boyle is, Fishy Boyle is still angry that I broke his fishing rod. Okay. Sounds a bit... Fishy. Oh, 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 but I 
think before I follow the fishing quest, I will hop into a dungeon for the uh, daily scoreboard. I don't know how it's called, challenge thing. Um, let's do Library of Chaos again. Mm. I can't enter on the lead difficulty. But, um, I could actually enter. It's much better than what I have currently. What does the guide say? Centurion. Summons all that's ad fight. Yeah, whatever. It's, it, it's, uh, it is a normal mode dungeon, so I don't think the boss... Uh, it's too hard. The boss casts an aesthetic bomb, which will trigger days if the target moves. Okay, not move when she triggers an aesthetic bomb. The boss will periodically summon ammo boxes and move toward them <clears throat> to use ammo reload. Is this good with them? Okay, don't let her reach the ammo boxes. And the treasure hunter after the boss sneak. They will continuously cast blade flurry, summoning throwing blades to attack players. The boss will cast blade dash Healing damage to three players furthest away. Yeah, come on. Just try it. Matchmaking. I'll go damage for, for the first try. While I'm sitting in queue, I'll run over to... Or... Why is it lagging? Whatever. Hello there. And by there. <clears throat> Wait, we are f six people in here? Why are we six? Uh, interesting, interesting. we have to go up there. I like the art style of this one. Yet. Yeah. 